Everybody who's in maintenance or even that works in a, in a manufacturing plant, you've got certain noises, you've got certain sounds that you're used to hearing. And when you walk out into the plant and you hear something that just doesn't sound right, you're going to be able to nail it down as to what piece of equipment that is. You'll be able to find out with the NO5 if it is good or bad. It just it tells you this is the vibration. It'll give you a readout if you want velocity, acceleration, but it'll also give you your severity scale. And it's gonna tell you it's good, needs attention. That way you can schedule your downtime so you don't you're not having any unscheduled downtime. Yeah, so we have a motor onto a gearbox, all chain driven. It's actually powering two uh, twin screw augers. I have a couple of times we've had problems with the uh, gearbox so it'd be nice to test it yeah so we just changed the uh, bearings on that it says good uh, temperature is uh, negative 14.4 degrees celsius it's about 20 degrees in here right now Let's see if we can get anything on the gearbox so that's the hard startup that we just heard that we've been worried about and so you can see now that I've actually set it up, it says it's satisfactory. My motor's good. I just have to actually uh, start working on my uh, gearbox. So it gives me a spot to start with. Our boss just handed me a project to check the motor end bearings on our condenser fan on the roof. And there's a little hatch you have to crawl in. The fan's like eight feet in diameter. And it's a little scary to get in there. And uh, it'd be easy just to get in there with this and do a spot check. That was the first thing that came to mind when I saw this. Overall vibration's good. No. All the vibration pins I've ever really used gives you velocity, gives you acceleration values. If you don't have a running trend analysis of that piece of equipment, you don't know what those values should be or what they shouldn't be. If they've gotten worse, if they've gotten better, you can't program machines into it. The 805 gives you so many different options. It says good right on there. It has the temperature reading right on there. I honestly have never used one before and it was pretty easy to use right off the bat. Hit measure, apply the right amount of pressure and get a green light. It says it's measuring, comes back as uh, overall vibration is good. You, you can't get much easier than that.